The Lord will cause thee to be smitten before thine enemies. Thou shalt go out one way against them, and shalt flee seven ways before them, and thou shalt be a horror unto all the kingdoms of the earth. And thy carcasses shall be food unto all fowls of the air, and unto the beasts of the earth, and there shall be none to frighten them away. The Lord will smite thee with the boil of Egypt, and with the emeralds, and with the scab, and with the itch, whereof thou canst not be healed. The Lord will smite thee with madness, and with blindness, and with astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness, and thou shalt not make thy ways prosperous, and thou shalt be only oppressed and robbed alway, and there shall be none to save thee. Thou shalt betroth the wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not use the fruit thereof. Thine ox shall be slain before thine eyes, and thou shalt not eat thereof. Thine ass shall be violently taken away from before thy face, and shall not be restored to thee. Thy sheep shall be given unto thine enemies, and thou shalt have none to save thee. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look, and fail with longing for them all the day, and there shall be not in the power of thy hand. The fruit of thy land, and all thy labors, shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed away. So that thou shalt be mad for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. The Lord will smite thee in the knees, and in the legs, with a sore boil, whereof thou canst not be healed, from the sole of thy foot unto the crown of thy head. The Lord will bring thee, and thy king whom thou shalt set over thee, unto a nation that thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, and there shalt thou serve other gods, wood and stone. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword, among all the peoples whither the Lord shall lead thee away. Thou shalt carry much seed out into the field, and shalt gather little in, for the locust shall consume it. Thou shalt plant vineyards and dress them, but thou shalt neither drink of the wine, nor gather the grapes, for the worm shall eat them. Thou shalt have olive trees throughout all thy borders, but thou shalt not anoint thyself with the oil, for thine olives shall drop off. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, but they shall not be thine, for they shall go into captivity. All thy trees and the fruit of thy land shall the locusts possess. The stranger that is in the midst of thee shall mount up above thee higher and higher, and thou shalt come down lower and lower. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. And all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed. Because thou didst not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. Because thou didst not serve the Lord thy God with joyfulness, and with gladness of heart, by reason of the abundance of all things. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy whom the Lord shall send against thee, in hunger, and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck, until he have destroyed thee. The Lord will bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as the vulture swoopeth down, a nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand. A nation of fierce countenance, that shall not regard the person of the old, nor show favor to the young. And he shall eat the fruit of thy cattle, and the fruit of thy ground, until thou be destroyed, that also shall not leave thee corn, wine, or oil, the increase of thy kine, or the young of thy flock, until he have caused thee to perish. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates, until thy high and fortified walls come down, wherein thou didst trust, throughout all thy land. And he shall besiege thee in all thy gates throughout all thy land, which the Lord thy God hath given thee. And thou shalt eat the fruit of thine own body, the flesh of thy sons and of thy daughters whom the Lord thy God hath given thee, in the siege and in the straightness, wherewith thine enemy shall strain thee. The man that is tender among you, and very delicate, his eye shall be evil against his brother, 
and against the wife of his bosom, and against the remnant of his children whom he hath remaining. So that he will not give to any of them of the flesh of his children whom he shall eat, because he hath nothing left him, in the siege and in the straightness, wherewith thine enemy shall straighten thee in all thy gates. The tender and delicate woman among you, who would not adventure to set the sole of her foot upon the ground for delicateness and tenderness, her eye shall be evil against the husband of her bosom, and against her son, and against her daughter, and against her afterbirth that cometh out from between her feet, and against her children whom she shall bear, for she shall eat them for want of all things secretly, in the siege and in the straightness, wherewith thine enemy shall straighten thee in thy gates. If thou wilt not observe to do all the words of this law that are written in this book, that thou mayest fear this glorious and awful name, the Lord thy God. Then the Lord will make thy plagues wonderful, and the plagues of thy seed, even great plagues, and of long continuance, and sore sicknesses, and of long continuance. And he will bring back upon thee all the diseases of Egypt, which thou wast in dread of, and they shall cleave unto thee. Also every sickness, and every plague, which is not written in the book of this law, them will the Lord bring upon thee, until thou be destroyed. And ye shall be left few in number, whereas ye were as the stars of heaven for multitude, because thou didst not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. And it shall come to pass, that as the Lord rejoiced over you to do you good, and to multiply you, so the Lord will rejoice over you to cause you to perish, and to destroy you, and ye shall be plucked from off the land whither thou goest in to possess it. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all peoples, from the one end of the earth even unto the other end of the earth, and that thou shalt serve other gods, which thou hast not known, thou nor thy fathers, even wood and stone. And among these nations shalt thou have no repose, and there shall be no rest for the sole of thy foot. But the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart, and failing of eyes, and languishing of soul. And thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear night and day, and shalt have no assurance of thy life. In the morning thou shalt say, Would it were even, and at even thou shalt say, Would it were morning, for the fear of thy heart which thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. And the Lord shall bring thee back into Egypt in ships, by the way whereof I said unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall sell yourselves unto your enemies for bondmen and for bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. These are the words of the covenant which the Lord commanded Moses to make with the children of Israel in the land of Moab, beside the covenant which he made with them in Horeb. And Moses called unto all Israel, and said unto them, Ye have seen all that the Lord did before your eyes in the land of Egypt unto Pharaoh, and unto all his servants, and unto all his land. The great trials which thine eyes saw, the signs and those great wonders. But the Lord hath not given you a heart to know, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, unto this day. And I have led you forty years in the wilderness. Your clothes are not waxen old upon you, and thy shoe is not waxen old upon thy foot. Ye have not eaten bread, neither have ye drunk wine or strong drink, that ye might know that I am the Lord your God.